Hello and welcome everyone, this is XDA Dante 63 and I'm in this video going to tell you about SHM Mod Companion. So the first question is, what is SHM Mod Companion? Do I need it? How do I use it? What are the main features of this SHM Mod Companion? So first things first, do you need it? As long as you have the SHM Mod installed on your watch, your watch and your phone, you definitely need the Companion. So what is SHM Mod Companion? SHM Mod Companion is a tool that I have developed to simplify everything for you guys to get the latest version, to be able to be always be up to date with what's new and the change log and all. If you have questions, if you have issues, you can use the Companion to fix a lot of things that you have or you're facing with your SHM Mod. So when you start the SHM Mod Companion, this is the first thing you're going to see. On the home page, you'll have a language selection. The application takes device language, but you can change it and have it in a different language. Now the device, sorry, the application is Google Translated. So if you find something wrong, you can always reach me and tell me you want to proofread, you want to fix a language. I'll be more than happy to provide you the text file, and you can just translate or proofread and then send it back and I'll update the language. Now, auto check for updates every so in this process you will always have either never three days and seven days because I don't want to exhaust your device or consume battery and all this does not really have any impact on the battery because it's really friendly and optimized. So checking for updates biologically it's either three days, seven days um, because you rarely find an update one after the other um, on a daily basis or anything. So check for SHM mod updates in here you will find that it says you have the latest version or it will say there's a new update, and if it's not installed, it will say not installed. You just tap on check and say download link generated. You'll tap on it to either copy the link into browser, share it with your friend, or just directly download. The application has an, a built-in download, so you click on that, you'll find a really nice adorable cat spinning around, and then it will then be downloaded, and you'll find install or dismiss. Um, so let's dismiss. The download will be stored in your download folder. So basically I'm going to open my files. And then I'm going to head to device storage and then the download. And there it is, such a mod companion. And here you're going to find all of your downloads. Right. So that being said, going down here, you have important links, which is the thread for Tizen and Wear OS. You have the thread, sorry, the, the Google Drive links for Tizen and Wear OS. And then you have tutorial videos. You have the discussion group on the Telegram. And then you have the uh, updates whenever I release an update and everything, you can see the entire list of updates in here. Ways of contacting me, you can reach me on XDA, Telegram, Instagram, and Reddit. Ways of supporting me, you can support me if and it's really appreciated your support uh, for the continuity of this project and everything that I do love and share. So you have PayPal, Patreon, and you can also support me through the apps that I have developed, but these apps are for Wear OS. If you have a Wear OS watch, I highly recommend you try these apps. They're really nice to try on and enjoy. Right, and then now moving on to the section of guide. So you you will see how to use the application. This video will change. It will become the video tutorial that I am actually creating right now. And then you have visual guide. So basically, you're going to see an image of the layout uh, home and an image of the layout watch, of course, and each what number represents what and what it does. And then the watch layout and then the BB sync layout. The rest are only read or text only, so you don't really need to be uh, interacting with, so there's no need for a guide. The watch section, I will put in the description a link to how to use this feature because this feature is mainly for Wear OS watch, in other words, watch 4, watch 5, and the future watches Samsung will be releasing as an Android, so this tab is used for those watches. The BP Sync, same thing, I'm going to put a tutorial video in the description, a link there, so you can see what is this BP Sync enabler, but briefly saying it, okay, so in Samsung Health and the blood pressure right over here, your data that you record in Samsung Health Monitor will sync and come right over here. So basically what you'll do, you'll enable the set features by tapping here, and then you'll follow the instructions from one all the way till the end, which will be 12. Then if you have any issues further, you can troubleshoot by reading this guide. As simple as that. Now you have Samsung Health Mod, frequently asked questions. People have been asking, does this void warranty? Do I need a root? Do is, does this affect the OTA? Why is this and why is that? So this is a brief explanation 
And if you have further questions that is not listed, do ask me and I will later on try to update the uh, frequently asked questions to have that there. Now the SHMY features, by default everyone, you should know that the features are device restriction removed, country restriction removed, root detection removed, age restriction has been lowered from 22 to 16, but there is a disclaimer that I put that the Samsung is, or the ACG is not being tested on age below 22. All studies that I have searched, even for Apple, they did not do studies for below 22. But some doctors and some research hypothetically go with the assumption that um, at the age of 16, some people uh, have already developed a uh, veiny hand and something that is obvious where the sensor can actually capture. But not, it's not really the case. What I want to say is if you feel sick or unwell, please see a doctor. Don't depend on the medical device. A medical device, yes, can save your life. But sometimes it's not going to capture everything. So it's important that if even if the watch is saying you're fine and you're feeling sick or tired, you should always go and see the doctor. Force updated latest version has been removed, lock screen required removed, removed different restrictions. So basically SHR is fully unlocked for you guys. Now you have the additional languages, um, which would be Chinese simplified, Japanese, Malay, Punjabi, Hindi, and Persian. I'm not going to say Turkish because Turkish has been automatically translated by uh, Samsung already after they have released and supported Turkish uh, Turkey. Uh, there is also Philippines, also translated, and the translation is not by Google but through members who have participated in proofreading and fixing and correcting and sending me the files which I have included in the app. App permissions, what are the app permissions of Samsung Health Monitor Mod Companion? So in here I have explained why I'm, why I'm using write external storage and read external storage basically to download and install APKs and to create Samsung Health folder and feature manager and downloads to enable BP Sync. Bluetooth permission is used for a pop-up message for you guys to turn off the uh, Bluetooth on your phone. Kill background process is used to kill Samsung Health to restart it. Query all packages so I can get the version and check for updates. The network in general is to see if I'm connected to the internet so I can check for updates and download or not. Receive uh, and wake up lock and all this so we can have the check for updates. App bugs are bugs in your Samsung Health Monitor. For example, recently there is a bug which is related to lock screen. Whenever you take an ECG uh, on your watch, and I'm talking about the Wear OS watch, this bug came as users reported GBK, which is a version as 7. So, and I explained it's an OS level. So there is nothing you can do to override it. You gotta wait for Samsung to update. Uh, so in here, what is new? You can always see the what is new in, on the GitHub, or you can watch a video, what is new in the mod companion, and then you can also have a look at the text part, what is new right here. You can view the history of updates of change logs. Then you have the SHMod, TZEN, and Wear OS, what is new. You will always see a video, and then you will have the text part for the phone first, and then have phone history, and then you will have watch and the history right up here. Now you'll always see the latest news and you can always tap on the translate whenever you see it. It's going to take you to Google uh, it's going to take you to Google Translate so you can actually see and read everything about that. So with that being said, this pretty much is the summary of what is SHM Mod Companion. Do you need it? Yes, I highly recommend you having this application on your phone. So you can always have the latest versions of Samsung health monitor mod and it's more reliable than to go on blogs or anything uh, you can and of course you'll not be confused by going to my google drive and getting lost there this is pretty much straightforward you'll just download what you need uh, does this work with the teason the only thing for your teason or your basically watch 3 and active 2 you only have the phone app right over here the rest you need the pc unfortunately because you need to create the certificates for your watch and then sign the mod of the watch. And that's pretty much it. Of course, in here you'll have the theme change so you can see that you have, for example, night, day, day mode, uh, night mode, and auto mode, or follows basically device. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much, and please do consider supporting me. It's highly appreciated. Take care. Have a good day.